Welcome back. Iowa was the first state to vote on the Republican presidential candidates, but next Tuesday, New Hampshire will hold the first primary election. And folks in the Granite State are very proud to have that distinction. Correspondent Karen Brown is here with more on that. Very proud may be an understatement, actually. Karen. I would agree with you, an understatement. <laughs> it is sort of their identity here being first in the nation. And this is a small state. There is only 1.3 million people in this state. And being first in the nation not only puts it on the map, but it is good for business. The primary season brings in over $300 million. It's not its biggest uh, moneymaker, though. Its NASCAR events bring in about $100 million more than that. But the attention this state gets from the national spotlight is priceless and a big reason they relish being first in the nation. How seriously do you take your politics? Very seriously. I think everybody in New Hampshire does because they know that they're the first and it will make a difference in the way that the country goes. New Hampshire voters like sculpting the political landscape. We're proud of setting the tone for the country about which direction that we're going to go in. This is such a cool state. I mean, come on, live free or die. I mean, as the candidates you know, trumpet New Hampshire, you gotta love that, right? Every company should. Behind the scenes, the state is seizing on that free advertising. It is awesome to be here in New Hampshire to sell itself. As far as we're concerned, in terms of business environment, place to live, we're first in the nation. Not and just the first primary. Not just the first primary. First in the nation has become New Hampshire's brand. Start targeting which companies. And a crucial uh, tool for economic developer Chris Way to aggressively recruit yeah. new businesses. First in the nation. You're luring them in with coffee table books. I'm luring them in with whatever is at my disposal. You know, we've, you've often been touted as the most livable state. Uh, in the nation. We want them to know us. We want them to know that government is accessible, that we're somewhat different. And no quality. state income tax. And a very favorable tax climate. We take a scope. That Bill Skelly knows the lure of New Hampshire. His medical retooling company used to be in Massachusetts. So you're sitting on a plane. Yes. And talking to a gentleman across the aisle. About your frustrations. About our business, the frustration not being approved in uh, Massachusetts to expand a building I owned. He was talking about his business and complaining. You're eavesdropping, basically. No, I'm always um, <laughs> interested in talking to other people. That's Governor John Lynch's job. I said I wanted to talk with him about possibly relocating to New Hampshire. And, and you said? would love to. I hadn't, <laughs> hadn't thought about it, but what can you tell me? And he says, well, I'm the governor. And if you give me a business card, we'd like to follow up. When I got back to New Hampshire, I asked people from our economic development office to contact him. I had 20, 30 uh, emails of different spaces in southern New Hampshire. An aggressive state negotiator wouldn't let go. We narrowed it down to this place, and he said, let me negotiate a better price for you. I said, wow. Skelly Medical of New Hampshire is now growing with clients worldwide. So you're like the recruiter in chief? I try to be. I try to be an ambassador for New Hampshire. Keeping their first in the nation title is so important, it's a state law that New Hampshire's primary must be held before any others. It just gives them a sense of got? New Hampshire. Canoeing. You, you can see all sunsets. our tourism, you can see our business environment, our universities. So it, it really gives companies a sense of what the quality of life is like in New Hampshire. And New Hampshire has seen first in the nation pay off. Its unemployment rate is a low 5.2 percent. Exports here are at an all-time high, and it's seeing a more modern manufacturing sector continuing to grow. And, you know, as the candidates change their message and really focus on the fiscal issues, when they come here and they say, wow, look at that low unemplo uh, unemployment rate, wow, look at how business-friendly you are, that is unsolicited advertising you just can't buy. And the governor really, he's not just talking about it when he likes to stay in touch with small business folks, right? <laughs> no, he literally gives them his cell phone number. If somebody is thinking <laughs> about moving here, he has an open line to them. They can call right to the governor and he gives them the pitch. Wow. Now that's re retail politicking in, yeah, that's in New right. Hampshire. That's right. get more retail than exactly. that. Exactly. All right, Karen Brown, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it.